All right, so we've been working pretty hot and heavy on a lot of projects. This one in particular has been getting a lot of love. Pretty much every car you see in this lot has been giving, getting some type of love. And they're all oddball cars. However, there's a car that is hidden away in a secret location. It hasn't been getting a lot of love. You can see I've got my little gurney here, my little wheelbarrow loaded up with some gas, some air, battery, and a monkey wrench. Let's go see if we can start something. I just need my dog. And there she is. Come on, let's go. Let's go start something. Come on. Okay, we've arrived at our undisclosed location and we're going to try to start a car that has not been started in a while. I don't even know if you can recognize what kind of car that is. It's been a long while. As you can see by the amount of moss growing on this thing and the leaves piled up, it's going to be a hard start. Got a lot of junk on it. See if we can get started. All good car parts for something. Okay, what are we looking at here? We've got a blue car with a lot of moss. No front fenders, flat tires, cat tracks going up the windshield, and we've got a power bulge on the hood. As you can barely see. Let's clean this stuff up before it goes in the engine. I hope this starts. is in all her glory. I gotta take this hood off. What do we got here, Stell? What are you sniffing out? This is what we're working on. Let's see if we can get the thing started. It's been here 10 years or more. Probably more. It's an old project car of mine. That is the glorious 4G63 Mitsubishi engine. The turbo version and it doesn't have a radiator doesn't have front core support doesn't have air conditioning the car was in an accident i was going to use it for a parts car and i put the engine in got it running new timing belt new water pump let's see if it'll let's see if it'll kick over i hope it does set the hood down Use two hands to get the hood over there. Let's check the oil. It's really clean. It's got oil in it. Get back in there. I hope there's no mouse nests or anything in the timing belt cover area. It's got an alternator, power steering, it's all there. Okay, let's put a battery in it. Let's 
That brake fluid. Come on. It's got clutch fluid. Where's that battery? I was able to find the key. There she is. It's a bit musty in here. Key even turn. Oh no, it's the wrong key. It says blue GSX, it should be the right key. There we go. We got brakes. Brakes are firm. Clutch is really firm. Not gonna reach. That one will. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, that's awesome. So you pull hard enough, it will reach. Whoop! I think the key's on. Still, it's gonna start. Is this old car gonna start? I don't know what that goes to. Oh, it's an air pipe. To the intake. Okay. The thing has got just a stock map on it. That should be plugged. Okay. Don't work on that. Okay. Now we've got the battery hooked up. I don't know, should we try to turn it over? I don't think it's gonna start, but give it a try. Sorry, I'm tripping on a lot of stuff here. Let's see what happens. Oh, we've got the light on and dash. And the key's glowing. All the dash lights are on. I gotta push the clutch in. Can you hear it clicking. Okay. I'm just gonna turn over. She's turning over. It's kind of weak though. At least we got something. Okay, let's work on this. So all we need is a bunch of dirt going in their gas tank. Complicate things. not had gas in it in a long time. Oh, stay in there. Come on, baby. There we go. Goiggle, 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 goiggle. Okay, we got about two gallons of fresh gas in there.
pretty dry. Should find some water, coolant to put in there. And I think I'm gonna get a booster for the battery. It's gonna take a while, let's start this thing. All right, I had to grab a few more things to make this operation go smoothly. My battery boost box, some starting fluid, coolant, and an extension cord. We'll just follow that. So we get to where we're going. Okay, we got that hooked up. We're gonna plug this line because that effectively creates a vacuum leak. Got a little coolant. So I don't know when the next time it is that I'll be here. Start this thing, I don't want to freeze. It's pretty dry. I don't think it has had coolant in it in a long time. It's just not running out on my foot someplace. That would be bad. Here we go. Had our wedged a little plug in our in our line there. Now I got to figure out how to get a little starting juice in in here. Spray a little fluid down there. Let's see if I get these off. Let's see if I can get it right in there. No, that's the wrong one. Let's see what happens. We've got battery power on the booster. Add a little fuel to the tank. I don't think we have to worry about pumping up the tires. What is that? Sitting there. This thing is mossy. I will be shocked if it starts. Like I said, it's been 10 years or more. See what happens. Got the clutch pushed in. No way. So the starting fluid. Starting fluid did help. We got to give it some more. Here another shot. I do not hear the fuel pump kicking on. I think our fuel pump is dead. Let's see if it'll start. It's trying. It's trying. Every now and then I get a pop. We're going to kill the yeah, I'm going to try one more time. Pretty sure we've got a dead fuel pump from sitting for so long. You never know, it might come back. No, ain't happening. Okay, so the fuel pump is back there under all that stuff. I gotta figure out if I can get the hatch open. Seems like it's connected. Just gotta get rid of all this stuff that's on top of it.
Gives you a little better view of the back of the car. It's sort of open. Should be open. But it's not open. All right, so this old 1990 Mitsubishi GSX, it's a Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX, is not cooperating with me. Can't get the hatch open, fuel pump is right inside. I gotta get some tools. This may be the end of episode one. I think I'm gonna have to put a new fuel pump in it or figure out why the fuel pump isn't working. So, I don't like to have it when a car beats me. Maybe tomorrow, I'll put a fuel pump in this thing, get her going. I think I'll run. Stay tuned for the next episode. Will she run? I don't know. Ha! So you didn't think I was going to give up that easy, did you? <laughs> so it's been bothering me that I can't start this old car. I went and got a fuel pressure gauge and I screwed it in right there to the uh, head of the fuel filter with a special bolt tapped for it. And as you can see, we were showing 40 pounds of fuel pressure. I kind of knew that when I took the, the, the fuel uh, filter bolt out, but you can see it's pretty rusted in there. I think I've got bad fuel and or plugged injectors. And anyway, I've got 40 pounds of fuel pressure. This thing really should run. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to try to intravenously put some starting fluid in a bigger location. These little vacuum lines, I just couldn't get anything. I think the throttle plate is closed and it's not allowing any fuel uh, starting fluid in there. So this is the boost line, basically goes to the blow off valve. I'm gonna fill this full of uh, starting fluid and we'll see what happens here. I have to hold this up like, like an IV tube. Good, I got a lot in there. Now let's go see what happens. I think you guys didn't really think I was gonna leave you hanging. Not start a car. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's hard to get in here. Okay. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh. It's running. Yes. He's running. He's got open off. He's got fuel pressure. He's going to warm up there. I can't believe it. Check engine light on. We do have good oil pressure. Quarter tank of fuel. Keeps taking its long. It's got really bad gas with plug injectors. Can't believe that. She runs. 